The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A and Bright Star Credit Union. Westminster Christian takes on Ransom Everglades tonight on School Duel. <laughs> episode of School Duel, where 50 high schools from Miami-Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach counties competed to be part of the show. The top 20 schools made it to the televised rounds, where they battle it out in an academic tournament for South Florida bragging rights. And the winners walk away with the school trophy from EDCO, a $1,000 check for each student courtesy of Bright Star Credit Union and Chick-fil-A, and continuing this season, each team advancing to the semifinals qualifies for the National Academic Championship. Details on this competition are at QUnlimited.com. Now with that much at stake, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the brackets for this week's game. As you see, the second round game features Westminster Christian versus Ransom Everglades in what is going to be quite an interesting showdown. The winner between the two schools will be moving on to the quarterfinals. So let's hear it for our two competitors. <laughs> But wait, there's more. There's always more. During the show, each student will compete in the Chick-fil-A challenge. Here, the student with the most correct answers throughout the show will win Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year. Sounds delicious? Yeah, I bet. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Our first round is called the warning shot. Here, it's school against school competing with toss-up questions directed at the entire group. Each question is worth 10 points, and if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school gets one chance to steal the points. All right, schools, prepare for the warning shot. Our first question deals with artists. His former electrician has a trunk with nearly 300 of his previously unknown artworks, including nine of his Cubist collages. Name this 20th century Spanish painter. Yes, Samantha? Picasso. Correct. Next question deals with farms. The state of Illinois produces a lot of swine, which is a fancy agricultural term for what, Samantha? Pigs. Journalism. For large newspapers, it is an unsigned essay whose content is officially supported by that newspaper. Give Alex P. Editorial. Editorial is correct. All right, moving along to spelling. Used in, the ancient king had a hoard of precious jewels buried in his tomb with him. Spell hoard. Alex P? H-O-A-R-D. Correct, good job. All right, moving along to sports teams. This team has 17 NBA championships. Yes, Alex S? Boston Celtics. Correct, good job. All right, science. In a swimming pool, you try to push a beach ball totally underwater. David? Buoyancy. Correct, it is buoyancy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the What Am I question brought to you by McFadder Technical College. This is where our contestants will be given a clue about something or someone and shown a picture that will slowly reveal itself. The first goal to buzz in and answer correctly will get the points. So, here goes. Currently assembled in San Antonio, Texas, this Toyota model is named for what treeless Arctic region, a biome that... Alex P? Tundra. Tundra is correct. Good job. And the Toyota Tundra was Motor Trend Magazine's Truck of the Year in 2000 and 2008. Awesome job. Moving along to organisms. It contains a lipid coat, a protein membrane, a set of genetic instructions. Brian? A virus. Correct. Awesome. All right, let's move on to math. What is the sum of the squares of 10 and 5? Brian? 125. Good job. Moving along to multiple meanings. It can mean a carrying case that can hold drawings or photographs. Give this nine-letter word that can be, David? Portfolio. Correct. Awesome. All right, we're going to move on to Europe. Name the European country whose Swiss border on its far west and German border on its northwest are quite far from its cities. Brian? Austria. Correct. Awesome job. All right, diseases. Its long-term complications can include damage to the eyes and foot ulcers. 
Name this chronic disease who type 1 and type 2. David? Diabetes. Correct. Oh, there's our buzzer. What an exciting first round. That means the end to the warning shot round. We do have Ransom Everglades leading with 80 points. Westminster has 40 points, so don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with more School Duel just after these messages. <laughs> Make sure you download the School Duel app on your smartphone so you can keep up to date with everything School Duel right at your fingertips. The School Duel app is available right now for all iPhone and Android users. Improve your money skills with Bright Star University. At Bright Star University, people of all ages can log in to learn more about finances. Just choose your age-specific category and pick from a collection of interactive financial topics, including the Visa Financial Football Game, where your team scores by answering money management questions. Just go to www.brightstaru.com. Bright Star University is brought to you by Bright Star Credit Union, proud sponsor of School Duel on Beacon TV. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program, encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships to team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities, demonstrate a solid work ethic, and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. ended with Ransom Everglades leading over Westminster. Current score, 80 to 40. Now before we begin the second round, let's take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. Let's go ahead and start with the Westminster Christian Warriors. Woo! <laughs> Starting out with Alex S, who's a senior. Now Alex, I'd like for my contestants to give a shout out to a special teacher who's made an impact in their life. So at this point, I'd like for you to shout someone out. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Dr. Edgar Wooden, my astronomy professor. Sounds good. All right. And next to you is Jonathan, who's a junior. Same thing. Go ahead with your shout out. I'll give a shout out to Dr. Martinez for being an awesome chemistry teacher. All right. And Jared, who's a senior, who are you shouting out? I'm going to shout out Mr. LaVon, English and yearbook teacher, and my father. Sounds good. All right. All right. Last but not least, we have the captain of Westminster's Christians team, Brian, who's a senior. So, Brian, who are you going to shout out? Uh, I'm going to give a shout out to Mr. Cedric Irving, my head football coach. All right. Sounds awesome. So let's welcome Westminster Christian here. <laughs> Big round of applause. Now that we know everyone on their team, let's go ahead and meet their competitors. They are from Ransom Everglades, and they are the Raiders. Welcome. <laughs> we have Carter, who is a senior. Carter, same thing for you. You now have the floor to shout out any teacher of your choice. I'm going to give out two special shout outs for two special people, Mr. D'Angelo and Miss Regis. Sounds good. Samantha's right next to you, and she's a senior. Samantha, who are you going to shout out? I'd like to give you a shout out to Dr. Unruh for inspiring me to become an English teacher. <laughs> Very nice. Alex P., you're right next to Samantha. And who are you going to shout out? And you're a senior, so I don't want to leave that out. So go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> this one goes out to Mr. Cooper, my APUS teacher, advisor, and close personal friend. Wow, sounds awesome. And last but not least, we do have the captain of Ransom's team. Welcome, David, who's a senior. David, who are you going to be shouting out? A uh, big shout out to Mr. Guzman. He's, uh, he taught me vid prod back in sophomore year, and ever since then, he's been my boy. So. Oh, sounds cool. Awesome. We'd like to shout out all of our teachers in South Florida and throughout the country. We do appreciate you. And now that we know everyone, let's go ahead and move on to round two, the joust. Here, one player from each school competes head-to-head -head with a 10-point toss-up question. The player that wins then gets three bonus questions with their school, worth five, then 10, and then 15 points. All right, schools, it is time to joust. Let's have Brian and David come on down. <laughs> Gentlemen, here's your toss-up question, worth 10 points. His new biography examines his years from 1922 to 1932. Identify this great jazz musician, nicknamed Satchmo. Yes, David? Louis Armstrong. Very good. All right, Ransom Everglades. 
The following bonus questions I'll deal with, Louis Armstrong. Bonus question number one is worth five points. Armstrong joined his new band, King Oliver's Creole Jazz Band, in this windy city located in Illinois. Carter? Chicago. Correct, awesome. Ransom, here's your second bonus question. It's worth 10 points. What musical instrument did Louis Armstrong play? Carter? Trumpet. Yes, sir. Here's your third bonus question worth 15 points. This Louis Armstrong hit includes the lyrics, I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and you. What does David? What a wonderful world. Yes, awesome job. All right, Alex, P and Jared, come on down. It is your turn to joust. <laughs> Gentlemen, here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. Though adding it to water is considered a public health advance in the US, Western, yes, who uh, was that? Uh, Alex P, go ahead. Fluorine. Judges, yes, correct, awesome job. Ransom, we're back with you. The following bonus questions all deal with fluoride. Bonus question number one is worth five points. The mineral fluorite combines fluoride with this alkali earth metal that is found in human bones and teeth. Alex P. Calcium. Calcium is correct, awesome. Here's your second bonus question worth 10 points. The fluoride put in community water supplies is usually combined with this alkali metal found in ordinary table salt. Alex P. Sodium. Correct. Here's your third bonus question worth 15 points. Toothpaste with fluoride can help prevent tooth disease and this meaning inflammation of the gums. Alex P again. Meningitis. Incorrect. That would be gingivitis. All right, Samantha, Jonathan, come on down. It's your turn to joust. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. In the novel Charlotte's Web, what kind of animal is Charlotte? Yes, Samantha? Spider. Spider is correct. Good job. All right, Ransom Everglades, we're back with you again. The following bonus questions I'll deal with Charlotte's Web. Here's your first bonus question worth five points. What kind of animal is Templeton? Yes, David? A rat. Yes. Bonus question number two, 10 points. What was the first thing Charlotte wrote in her web? Two words. David? Um, salutations, Wilbur. Incorrect, it's some pig. Bonus question number three, worth 15 points. Which American author wrote Charlotte's Web? Alex P. E.B. White. Correct, good job. All right, last but not least, we have Alex S. and Carter, come on down. Here it's turn to joust. Gentlemen, here's your toss-up question, worth 10 points. Name the primary form of transportation used to transport goods from farms to market at the end of the 19th century in America. Yes, Carter. Train. Correct, good job. All right, Ransom Everglades, the following bonus questions all deal with railroads. Bonus question number one is worth five points. First developed in the early 19th century, early locomotives ran on engines powered by this. Alex P. Steam. Correct, awesome. Bonus question number two worth 10 points. What rail system is tasked with operating a national rail passenger transportation system in the US? Yes, Carter. Amtrak. Yes, awesome job. And your third bonus question is worth 15 points. Railroads that have only a few miles of track are called what? Here's a hint. Think of the railroads in Monopoly. Alex? Line. No, that's incorrect. It's short line railroads. All right. That's the buzzer, and that means the end to the joust. We do have Ransom Everglades leading with 200 points. Westminster Christian has 40 points. But we'll be right back with more School Duel just after these messages. Make sure you download the School Duel app on your smartphone so you can keep up to date with everything School Duel right at your fingertips. The School Duel app is available right now for all iPhone and Android users. We love magnet programs! From elementary to high school, Broward County Public Schools magnet programs provide extra opportunities and experiences for students in specific fields of study. International Baccalaureate, Military Academy, Montessori, Performance and Visual Arts, Sciences, and many others. The programs are free. Shop early for your child's education. Apply online today at BrowardSchools.com. Broward County Public Schools Magnet Programs. Missing school? You're missing out. 
Regular attendance equals education, and education equals success. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. local high schools match wits to see who will be this year's school dual champion. The second round match has Westminster Christian competing against Ransom Everglades. The current score is 200 with Ransom Everglades to Westminster's 40 points. We are now ready for the rapid fire round. During this round, the teams will receive a category of questions to answer within 60 seconds. Each question is worth 10 points. And if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school will have the opportunity to steal the points. Now, since Westminster is trailing, they will have the opportunity to pick their category. Today's choices are, it's all French or out of Africa. All right, Westminster, what category would you like? We'll take it's all French. Sounds good. All right, schools, here comes the rapid fire round. <laughs> Westminster. It's all French. In this category, the answer contains a word that came to English from a French origin. Remember, you do have 60 seconds to answer these questions worth 10 points each. So are you ready? All right, let's cue music and let's begin. A place where you store your car at night? Garage. A place for dead bodies before and after autopsy? Morgue. A professional job done on your fingernails? Stylist. Watching someone for a while to see if they commit a crime? Stakeout. A list of the foods sold at a restaurant. Menu. A set of false teeth that replaces your real upper. Dentures. Game where you hit a ball with a mallet through wickets. Cricket. An afternoon movie showing. Matinee. Something repeated throughout a book or story. Oh, chief. A group of people who go with and assist an important person. Secretary. All right, we got through all of your questions. Good job, Westminster. Ransom, they missed a few questions, so let's see if you know the answers. A professional job done on your fingernails. Alex P. Manicure. Correct. Watching someone for a while to see if they commit a crime. Surveillance. Game where you hit a ball with a mallet through wickets. Croquet. And a group of people who go with and assist an important person. A yeah. de comp. Incorrect. That would be an entourage. Entourage. All right. <laughs> Let's move on. Ransom Everglades out of Africa. In this category, you will need to identify these words that came from English from an African language. Remember, you have 60 seconds to answer these questions worth 10 points each. So let's cue music and begin. Double A mammal that eats ants. Aardvark. A journey through Africa to see animals in their native habitat. Safari. South African government system that discriminated against... Apartheid. Curious George is this type of ape. Monkey. 100 billion of these yellow fruits are eaten every year. Bananas. Haitian religion that deals with spells. Voodoo. Plastic horn used at soccer matches in Africa. Vuzuvela. A long journey on foot also used for a long TV journey in space. Odyssey. A militia man who may attack in secret. Gorilla. Looks like a prairie dog, but is related to the mongoose. Meerkat. All right, we got through all of your questions. You only missed three. So let's go ahead and give those questions to Westminster. So listen carefully. Curious George, is this type of ape? Yes, Brian? Simeon. Incorrect, chimpanzee. Next one is a long journey on foot, also used for a long TV journey in space. Brian? Trek. Correct. And a militia man who may attack in secret. Brian? Ninja. Commando is the answer. All right, there's the end of the rapid fire round where we all learned something. We do have Ransom Everglades holding on to its lead of 300 points. Westminster now has 110 points, but don't go anywhere. We're gonna take a short break and then we will be back for the final showdown.
Make sure you download the School Duel app on your smartphone so you can keep up to date with everything School Duel right at your fingertips. The School Duel app is available right now for all iPhone and Android users. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program. Encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships. To team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities. Demonstrate a solid work ethic and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Improve your money skills with Bright Star University. At Bright Star University, people of all ages can log in to learn more about finances. Just choose your age-specific category and pick from a collection of interactive financial topics, including the Visa Financial Football Game, where your team scores by answering money management questions. Just go to www.brightstaru.com. Bright Star University is brought to you by Bright Star Credit Union, proud sponsor of School Duel on Beacon TV. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. Good second round match going as Ransom Everglades clings to its lead over Westminster Christian. The current score is now 300 to 110. It is now time for the final showdown. This is the last round. Schools go against each other with toss up questions, but this time these questions are now worth 20 points. And remember, if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school can steal the points. All right, schools, this is for a spot in the quarterfinals. It is time for the final showdown. Your first question deals with states. It was a republic when it was annexed by the United States. Brian? Texas. Incorrect. Ransom Everglades. When it was annexed by the United States in 1898, Sanford Dole was its president at the time. It became the 50th state in 1959. Name it. Alex P? Hawaii. Correct. Companies. It will introduce Fire TV, which enables television. Carter? Google. Incorrect. Westminster, which... Amazon. Wait, Brian? Amazon. All right. Good job. Woo! You guys didn't give me a chance there. All right. Diet. What diet fad topped Google's search list in 2013? It's so easy a caveman could eat like it. Carter? Paleo. Correct. Money math. John was making $8 an hour until he got a raise to $12 per hour. What percentage increase was John's raise? Yes, Brian? 50%. Correct. Light bulbs. Incandescent light bulbs are not very efficient, giving off only about 10% of their energy as light and the rest as what? Yes, Alex S. Heat. Video games. Tomb Raider is a video game franchise that centers around this female. Yes, Alex P. Lara Croft. The Bible. In the book of Revelation, Satan is cast into a lake of fire and this other object, Alex P. Brimstone. Islands. Ecuador's geography ranges from the peaks of the Andes down to the Pacific coast and islands. What famous group of islands? Yes, Brian. The Galapagos. The NFL. This NFL team has never won a championship, although it went. Yes, Alex S. Tennessee Titans. All right, Ransom. This team has never won a championship, although it went to the Super Bowl four consecutive years with quarterback Jim Kelly, defensive end Bruce Smith, and running back Thurman Thomas. Carter. The Buffalo Bills. European capitals. Name this European capital city that is home to the Checkpoint Charlie Museum. David? Berlin. Legal terms. Give the seven letter legal term for the decision by a jury as to whether, David? Verdict. Amendments. It gives individual states sovereign immunity from being, Brian? The 10th Amendment. Incorrect ransom from being sued by foreigners. Identify this first amendment to the US Constitution that was passed after the Bill of Rights. Alex P? The 11th. Holidays, formerly known as Decoration Day, this holiday honors veterans who died. Alex P. Memorial. Famous ladies, with the maiden name Davis, she was an actress in the 40s and 50s. Name this former first lady, Alex P. Jackie Kennedy. Incorrect, Westminster, name this former first lady married to Ronald Reagan. Yes, Jonathan. Uh, Nancy Reagan. Degrees, in half an hour, the minute hand on a clock turns how many degrees? Carter. 180. Fans. 
1962, the rock band with Keith Richards and Mick J Yes, Alex? Rolling Stones. Running to the nearest mile, how many miles make up a standard marathon? David? 26. Spelling, it means forerunner. Spell the word precursor. David? P-R-E-C-U-R-S-O-R. -E Correct. Social media, it had to admit the fact that it is still losing money when planning its recent, David? Facebook. Incorrect, Westminster. When planning its recent initial public offering, name this social media company whose financial woes take more than 140 characters to explain. Yes, Brian? Twitter. Literature. It makes literature and drama interesting by slowing the main character's progress toward his goal. Give this eight letter, yes, Alex P? Obstacle. Incorrect, Westminster. Give this eight letter literary word for the struggle between the protagonist and antagonist of some sort. Yes, Brian? Conflict. Famous, oh, there's my buzzer. And that sound brings an end to the second round school duel match as Ransom Everglades held tightly onto its lead, beating Westminster Christian. Final score, 560 to 250. Now, Ransom Everglades, this win is putting you into the quarterfinals. So congratulations. <laughs> But of course, great job to everyone. Now this also brings an end to the Chick-fil-A challenge and today's winner is, drum roll please, Alex P from Ransom Everglades. Congratulations, Alex. Congratulations on your Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year. And of course, at this time, we'd like to thank all of our sponsors for making School Duel possible. And don't forget to check out our website at schoolduel.tv where you can find out even more about all of the schools involved this year, as well as vote on who you thought was the player of the week for today's game. And of course, use hashtag SchoolDuel to contact us through social media. But most importantly, make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel Thursday at 7 p.m. as Suncoast High takes on Wellington High in the next second round match. Goodbye, everyone. School Duel was brought to you by Chick-fil-A and Bright Star Credit Union. Make sure you download the School Duel app on your smartphone so you can keep up to date with everything School Duel right at your fingertips. The School Duel app is available right now for all iPhone and Android users.